everyone. Hello. My name is Leroy Rowe. I'm the lab tech at Spot Valley High. And this is a quick disassembly video on a Optiplex, a Dell Optiplex 755. Now these units are old, but they are still in use. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a quick disassembly. First thing you do is remove the CD drive. Unplug the connections, put it aside, then you remove the, the now obsolete floppy drive, disconnect it, put it aside, then you pull the ATX power supply, lift the cable, well sometimes the cable is stuck between the board and the, and the power supply. Uh, then you disconnect the hard drive from there on it's pretty self-explanatory um, these are very easy machines to, to disassemble and maintain this one is in need of some maintenance its parts are very dirty um, so then we remove the hard drive after lifting the tabs these tabs to lift the hard drive enclosure you then plug out the SATA port and plug out the fan and you set that aside now for this right here this is a serial clip I think it's a serial it's a serial connector you use a screwdriver or so or a pry tool to get the top part of it open and you just wiggle it free See, this connector connects the the front the front USB ports, the power switch, the front microphone and headphone ports to the motherboard. And there is a power supply connector to the to the motherboard from the power supply after disconnect it. So we then remove this. This is the serial connector. And we put that aside. This is the SATA connector for the CD drive. Now we get to the to the good part where we are about to take out the motherboard. Uh, then we take out the memory sticks. These are absolutely filthy, and we of course put them aside. Um, now it's time to lift the heat sink you'll need a Phillips screwdriver this one this screwdriver is not really good my correct screwdriver is in the hands of someone else but this one is a ratchet so it's pretty good okay so that's the heat sink out the heat sink and as you can see it is absolutely filthy huh? so here's what we have so far this is the beer motherboard that's a power supply this is the fan and here is the little PCB uh, these are running Intel 2.0 gigahertz processors. These are old machines. Real, real old machines compared to what's on the market nowadays. But they get the job done very, very well. So continuing. Still removing the motherboard. I genuinely wish that man brought back my screwdrivers. Genuinely wish he brought back a screwdriver. But anyway, we're still getting it disassembled. Um, this is the mount for the for both the 
for both the heat sink and the hard drive yeah so this is a very nice compact machine uh, I don't think it's really one that can be souped up that much maybe you can go up to like a 3 gigahertz processor and overclock with set FSB and you get maybe like three and a half gigs or so but it wouldn't really be worth it because you know this is a real old computer so you disconnect the fan disconnect the, the lid the lid sensor so this is what we have left now this is the lid sensor right here so it's disconnected and this is the fan and that was disconnected a while ago so now we'll be taking out the power supply and the motherboard So we're removing the power supply now. The power supply is secured into the machine with three screws around the back. So that's the power supply out of it and now we're finally getting ready to take out the motherboard because of the design of this machine you basically have to take everything out of it before you can take the motherboard out which I think is a good design considering the places that this thing is used there's so much dirt on the board you can plant can on it reap But uh, this is why I was hired, so let me do my job. Okay, so this is the last screw, and the motherboard is out. Now, what we need to do is we also need to clean the fan, so I'm going to take the fan out as well. So this is the motherboard, filthy as ever. Okay. And the fan, the fan should come out now. <laughs> ah, the fan's out. It's released by this little clip. So if you're having issues, don't, don't break the fan, just look for this little clip. It's normally right here. It's normally right there in the corner. Because the fan would be like this. And the little clip would be right here. Okay, so all the stuff is out of the machine. And this is what it looks like. Board, power supply, uh, fan, heat sink, heat sink cover, hard drive, floppy drive, CD drive, memory sticks. Uh, this is basically a mount for the camera. Uh, this is the shell. And as you can see, it's very, very dirty. So I'm going to clean these up and then show you what it looks like when, when it's clean. Okay, so we're back now. Uh, board is looking a, much, a, a lot better. So it's a power supply. Fan, you can actually see the plastic now. Uh, the case is looking good. Flappy drive, heat sink, all cleaned out. CD drive, all clean. Uh, the enclosure, or the case, or the stand, or whatever the hell this is. Is also cleaned up. 
I had to get a new Barracuda 80 gig Seagate 80 gig um, that's going in there instead because the first one was actually damaged so let's get to it uh-huh that's it